Okay, here's the deal. I don't know if you guys have heard of this stuff. Athletic body care, ABC. It goes on your wrists, your hands, your neck. You can even put it on your face, your ankles. Everything that's exposed, it kills MRSA, kills staph, kills ringworm, swine flu, swine flu, everything. So we're 100% disinfected. If you train at the house or in the garage, the best stuff, you have to have at least this body spray. So if you forget to take a shower, you're 100%. That's what you do. <laughs> Yo, yes. let's just go learn some sick arm locks. Arm lock finishes right now. I've got one, Hedon's got one. You're not gonna believe this. Check it out. Arm lock finishes. You go, you catch the arm, you're sitting, you have it. Final stage, you wanna stretch the arm out, but they're fighting for dear life. It's hard to stretch the arm out. It's not easy to get someone's arm extended, especially if they know it's coming and all they wanna do is keep the arm tightened up. Hedon has a sick finish. So this is the sick arm lock finishes. <laughs> the sick arm lock, lock. sick arm lock finishes. We have two. He doesn't to show one, then I'm gonna show one, and you're gonna take them both and just finish all the arm locks no matter what. 100%. Check it out. So I land here. Very common that we land here, and there's, the person might hold their bicep, whatever. I want to get his other arm. One. I'm gonna pull my hand, put it on the ground. Okay. And then I switch, turn this angle. So, I could do the on the other side, but it might confuse you. <laughs> Here, from the arm lock, you go in, you scoop their arm, you put your hand out. Now, what if my hand on the ground, this leg comes off, and I push off my hand, and I get over. Squatting right now, little squat. Little squat, it's very important. So his arms are both being controlled. Slowly. Now watch my legs switch. If they don't move your feet, boom. Go back. Show me how your feet aren't moving right now. <laughs> Teaching my moves. <laughs> my feet stay, my legs switch, my hand goes, and then I finish, boom. Okay, very little weight is on hand. Now here, other side, look. Same thing, I grab the arm on the side of his head. His far arm, hand on the ground, remove my leg, pick myself up. This knee is light right now. I'm not even sitting ahead of too much. Most of my weight is right here. And now when my hand comes, my leg spins and then I hug. Again, I get this arm, hand on the ground, leg out, sit up. I'm controlling my own weight, but my hips are close. Look at my legs, legs, hand, spin, arms. It's pretty incredible. Now, check this out. Here's another one. He don't hold his bicep right there, same thing. And notice how if our feet are crossed, it's okay, only if you're under their back arm. It's all legal, it's all legal. Here's the next one. A lot of times, what's he don't trying to do right now? What would be his dream goal? To get his elbow out. He wants to pull his inside elbow to the ground. Then his arm is safe, go back. During or before that process takes place, as he starts turning his side, turning his elbow off, number one thing, my heels are very tight, pushing off, and my hips are driving towards him to smash from here to here, he don't body in the vice, so he can't turn as easily. And then during this process, I let go of his hand completely, post here, post here, turn, and break right here. Belly down. So he thinks the inside arm is gonna be free, and sometimes what happens is, he'll, my arm is out, I'll even let go of this, because I wanted to pull his arm out, and watch, balance, Turn, take, boom, game over. So he thinks he's safe, okay? And all of a sudden his top arm gets taken 100%. Beautiful, I can, you can even do this if their hand is just chilling right here. Like they start turning on their side a little bit. If they're flat on their back, go back real. If he's flat on his back, it's a risk. Because I can't get my hips behind his elbow. It's all about getting my hips behind the elbow. So if he turns, so I'm, I'm kind of giving my arm. Correct, by him turning like this, look. All I need is my hips to be here. So even if he's like this on my thigh, look how he's holding my thigh tight, watch. He holds my thigh, but that means he strains it for me. Because he's holding, tagging along, and boom. Look at this foot right here. This foot goes from here, watch, invert and hook. This knee comes around like this. So then you have this straight, you go boom, right here. You sit up and you pull it to your chest. It's so quick and surprising that there's no resistance. It's just, ah, there's not even time to tap when we do my sick arm lock finish, number two. So, he don't is good if like, basically, you know, you wanna force it, right? You wanna force the finish, you cup the opposite tricep, and you just spin around and you take it and you make it happen. Mine's a little more slick, a little more, basically, if they create the opportunity. Yeah, and uh, it's just more efficient, you know what I'm saying? It's just more efficient. Yeah. Yours isn't sick. Like, yours might be a little efficient, 
but mine is the kind of arm lock that I do right now. Even if, even if I can get the first arm, I don't even take this. I just switch because I'm so sick that I want to see if I can get the other arm. I already got the first one, but I just for fun, I just switch and who, tell me who, who does, who catches both arms and arm locks? Who has the, the choice like that? You can good only point, get one point, arm. Good point. I, I mean, get mine's either one. Just, mine's a little more grandmasterish. You know what I'm saying? The idea that you're going for the arm, it's slipping away, and efficiency takes over, and you take what they're giving you, not what you want. Yeah. So you almost want to escape. Well, he does is a little bit more like because because, because your first arm lock was weak, and they were able to slip their elbow out, you had to switch the second one. So if you're like on TV and you want to show something sick, use heat on. But if you're like fighting for your life, trying to win the fight, and you need efficiency, if you can't control the first one, use handers. But if your first one is sick, but just to push the limit and do something even sicker, do mine and use the second one. Best option. Perfect them both. Yes. And then let us know which one works for you. Put it in the comments and. Uh, Hopefully mine wins. That wasn't sick. That wasn't